What's up, all my fellow speedsters and all many humans throughout the multiverse? It's Kevin here. Welcome back to another reaction on the channel. So today we are going to be reacting to Star Girl season one, episode four. So last episode, we really got into Icicle. Like Icicle was pretty much like the main focus of the episode, and I really like that. I really liked uh, some of the backstory he has. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily backstory. Um, but we have a little bit more depth into his character because we don't know like how he got his powers and whatnot and what led him to become a criminal. But I really like the beginning sequence with his wife and it really adds a lot more depth to his character instead of him just being, oh, I'm evil because I can be, you know, one of those typical supervillains. And we get a little bit more glimpse. Now, not necessarily glimpse, but um, hints at their big plan project, New America. <coughs> and um, I'm, I'm very inter interested. And Stargirl surprised me because I had like a couple theories. Like I thought that um, Joey was like going to become either a hero or <coughs> Abracadabra. And I thought that the wizard uh, was going to turn away from the Injustice Society and help join Stargirl and um, take down the Injustice Society. But I was wrong. They... I gotta say, Stargirl, like, they, I, I did not expect them to kill off Joey, like, that was a really bold move, especially for, uh, their first season, I'm like, damn, like, they, uh, the writers have some balls, like, that was crazy, <clears throat> and, um, um, they also killed off, uh, the wizard, so that surprised me, too, because I'm like, oh, because I thought maybe he was gonna turn away from the Injustice Society, and, um, uh, help Stargirl uh, take down Ice Cold and the rest of the uh, Injustice Society in the end, but I was wrong. Um, and um, we also saw that uh, Cameron, um, that he was uh, um, the guy that was seen a bunch of times who was drawing the flowers, which I actually forgot in the, er, in the beginning scene, we saw the little kid, uh, Ice Cold's kid, who drew the flowers, and it's revealed that the Cameron is Ice Cold's son. And then I started to think, oh yeah, that makes sense, because I remember in the comics... At least a version of Icicle is Cameron Mockant. I think that's how you say his name. Cameron Mockant, who's Icicle in the comics, I believe. I only know that name from um, certain other Airverse YouTubers. Because um, uh, Icicle was actually used on The Flash in Season 5, I believe. Yeah, Season f Was it Season 5? I believe it was. I could be wrong on that one. But, um... Uh, yeah. Um, so that's how I know that name, mainly from, uh, I heard that name be in discussion for, like, other Arrowverse YouTubers, like, uh, Paige e, when he was doing some of his theory videos. Um, and that's how I remember that name, like, oh, okay. And, and I was actually pretty shocked, because, um, he was shown, um, he was given quite a bit of focus in the episode, so I thought, is he gonna become our man? But no. And we also saw that other kid from episode one. The uh, kind of like re uh, rebel uh, guy that I think he stole stole something from. I remember he stole something from the first episode, and we see him again um, here. He was dr drinking, so I'm a s so maybe he's our man. So I'm very interested to see uh, how he's going to be um, grouped up in the mix uh, with the Justice Society. And also, we got to see the Justice Society headquarters, which I thought was really cool. Uh, we saw, saw a lot of Easter eggs. We saw uh, Dr. Fate's helmet, Jay Garrick's helmet. We also got to see a lot of other things like, uh, oh, what was, uh, I already forgot his name. Um, you know, the guy with the, the pen. Um, I think it was like Johnny something. I could be wrong on that one. Uh, I'm blanking. Uh, but there are a lot of uh, great Easter eggs, especially that they have the uh, uh, the one I was really surprised about was uh, Alan Scott. They had the uh, lantern, and we actually saw Stargirl grab that. So I'm wondering, is she? Will we see a Green Lantern? Maybe I really doubt in the first season, but I think that would be a really cool cliffhanger if they brought in a Green Lantern. As cool as that would be, though, I don't think it's going to happen mainly because HBO Max is developing a Green Lantern show. So, I don't know if they can do that. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know how the business side of WB works with on uh, different shows, what character they can and can't use. But, um, yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. And <clears throat> uh, the scene, the table, and all the uh, different banners with the uh, different, um, not necessarily helmets, but different accessories from the uh, Justice Society members. Like, uh, from Wildcat's banner, we saw his mask and Jay Garrick's helmet, Dr. Fate's um, helmet. 
and um, the uh, other, oh, I can't remember his name. It's actually really bothering me. Uh, it'll probably come to me later. Um, the uh, guy's pen. I remember his. I remember who he was. I just can't remember his name um, at the moment. Um, but yeah, we also saw Doctor Midnight's owl, so I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm very curious to see how this works because uh, by the thumbnail on DC Universe. Uh, she's going for a wildcat first, so I, I'm 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 very interested how this is gonna work, in this dynamic because they're already because I can already see they were slowly setting up that friendship with uh, Courtney and the other girl. I mean they're not friends yet, but uh, they are definitely setting something up, and I'm very curious to see how they're how that's gonna play out. Um and yeah, <clears throat> and I'm very curious to see the other members of the Justice Society. I mean the Injustice Society. Like, we didn't really see much of them in the first episode. Like, the most you've ever seen of any of the members was, um, um, Icicle, uh, Brainwave, and the Wizard. So, I'm, I'm curious to see some of the other characters, like, um, Sportsmaster, Tigress, and such and such. But, yeah, I've been rambling on for six minutes now, and I don't really want to make my interest too long, like my, um, Just Like Apocalypse War, uh, video. But, anyway... So yeah, um, let's wrap this up with uh, watching Stargirl Season 1, Episode 4. Let's get right into the reaction. Okay. This is an interesting start. Three months ago. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is probably going to explain like all the backlash that she's gotten. Oh, it's one of these. Okay. Oh. And let me guess, it's going to be sent around the school, and that's why she has so much backlash. <laughs> I know where this is going. I've seen 13 Reasons Why, so I know how this is going to go. Oh, there's a guy, uh, boxing, so I'm wondering that's Tech Rant. Oh, man. Oh. This. Oh, my God. Oh, he probably feels bad about it. Damn, I feel bad for him. There's the lantern. She also thought the owl. I'm wondering where she's keeping the owl. <laughs> oh, it's broken. Wonder if we're gonna get a more backstory on that. Okay, they're putting some focus on that pen. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be a player later on. Any pop tarts? Eggs won't kill you. I'll, I'll carry it in there. That's right. <laughs> All right. So, he's probably, like, upgrading, um, the Stripe mech. I'm very curious to see how that mech is gonna evolve, because... It's definitely still new, so I'm wondering if he's gonna, like, uh, jack it up with all different weapons. Damn. I feel so bad for him. But now, the I've seen the light. The hell is that in the back? I believe in the injustice side of the others. Oh, okay, a new villain. And I'll never betray you. I appreciate. Oh, you they have you. shade in there. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so the shade oh, was part of the injustice the society. Back with the others. I know how much this means. Okay, I'm very curious to see what to exactly he is, because he's definitely not human. Ultimate sacrifice into Blue Valley. I'm glad he's dead. Damn. May I have his wonderful? What's his body? Okay. Does he like do experiments or something? Okay, this is probably gonna inspire her to recruit her. You it wasn't on purpose, but you accidentally blew up a car. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little far fetched. <laughs> yep. Damn, I, I feel so bad for good. her. I think yeah, the worst part about it is that he didn't even do it. Oh, okay. She is really moving quickly with this. Don't tell me there's something else wrong with the car. I gotta go. Oh, he's gonna figure out that he was the wizard. Damn, I feel so bad for her, like. Losing her son and husband in one day. Ice School is such a great villain. My dad was a superhero. I'm a superhero. 
<laughs> I've got a costume and everything. Let me just show you. Oh no. Stay. Oh, what? Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. How did it? It's all apparent. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of um, um, Black Panther suit. It's only he could cut through metal using his claws. Oh, okay. Now you're gonna have to explain what happened to the toaster. Oh, okay, that's a cool effect. Oh, does the helper like stick to it? Okay, there's definitely a little bit of inspiration in uh, with Black Panther. I know Wildcat was probably made first. To be me. Damn. Man, I'm loving her character already. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Oh, that's gonna need an explanation. Dad? His name is Icicle, the one that killed her villain. Actually, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, who else? I don't know. Oh, I'm loving this. This is a great dynamic. Especially like this quickly, like this is really good. I was afraid they're gonna rush it, but it it, it has a pretty good pacing so far. All right, this is cool. I'm sorry I'm not saying too much. This is just wow. This is great. Uh oh. Oh, she's gonna lay on her feet, right? Oh, that's not gonna look good. Hey, Beth. Oh, that's not gonna look great. All right, I know she's gonna become the new hour man or hour woman. How do they not hear that? I'm just mind blown, like how great the costumes look. That's not brainwave. No, that's not brainwave. That looks nothing like him. Uh, I don't know. Like three weeks. Like a week. Oh, a week. Oh, that's not gonna look right. Oh man, how is she gonna get out of this one? Where'd she hide? <laughs> oh, that's great. Is she in Bray Wave's uh, room now? Oh, that's not a great sign. I don't know, what are you doing? Oh, no, don't. No, she's not going to. Damn. Yeah, she, she's not going to do it. How are they getting out of there so quickly? Okay, that one. Okay, now that that one makes sense. But I'm wondering how Courtney got out of there so so quickly. Like, there's, like, did she go through the air vent or something? Oh, oh wait, no, that's not her mom. That's the. Uh, is she like? Oh yeah, she's like the principal, right? Oh, she's hunt. Wait, is she huntress? I don't know, I'm so dumb, because I thought that, that there was, like, some arrows in there or something. Why is she playing the violin? Like, this just seems so awkward. Well, that was random. When I first saw that case open, I thought I saw, like, an arrow in there, so I immediately thought she was Tigress. I am so sorry. I'm so stupid. Who's that? Oh, it's her! She heard that all the way from there? Okay, so that's definitely gonna set her up to become the new Hour Man, or Hour Woman, or Hour Girl? I don't know. Well, she definitely is gonna take it on eventually, probably in like the next couple episodes. Well, at least she's got a new friend, that's a, that's a start. Um, Stargirl has done really good to introduce great characters in just like one episode and make them extremely likable. Or invested. Like Icicle, like I'm all for Icicle as a villain. And I'm really liking her as Wildcat. You disgrace this family. Oh my god. Seriously? This is probably just gonna be what pushes her to become Wildcat even more now. Oh, she planted it, right? That, yeah, that's definitely the wildcat suit right there. Yep, she's gonna become wildcat now. Damn. 
I give props to the Star Girl writers. Like they definitely know what they're doing with the show. I'm like, uh, I'm like uh, the Arrowverse <laughs> right now. God, that suit is so cool. I think that's probably my favorite suit so far. I mean, we haven't seen a whole lot of suits, but that Wildcat suit is definitely my favorite. I definitely prefer it over the Star Girl suit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Bad luck, man. Was oh, that the same cat? Because I remember she had a cat earlier. Okay, that's a mom in this music. Oh, shit. It's her truck. Seriously, did they finish, did they finish her off? Seriously? Like, I think that's pretty excessive. Damn, like, the Injustice side, they show no mercy, man. I'm wondering, no, there's no, I'm thinking it's probably that other guy, not, uh, Icicle. The guy with the mask, that definitely wasn't human. Hold up. Does that say Artemis Croft? Croc? Okay, so, she's definitely in this, in the show now, alright. I'm, tr I'm trying to go through to see if I can, like, find, uh, who that guy was. Damn, never mind. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was Stargirl Season 1, Episode 4. Another great episode introducing, uh, what was her name? Y Yolanda, is that how you pronounce it? Um, as the new Wildcat. Great character, I already really like her character. Like, giving her a really, um, really, I, I don't want to say tragic, but, you know, like, really messed up a uh, little backstory. And I understand why now. Um, and, like, uh, alright, that makes me, like, not like that mean girl. I'm calling her a mean girl just because, you know, uh, it's, that's kind of been a trope in a lot of high school dramas, you know, the, uh, good old mean girls, you know, the popular girls that are, like, uh, complete bitches to everybody, but, um, yeah, um, I really liked her, her story this episode, and, um, like, I gotta say, like, I have lost all, all, all respect to her family, because if they, uh, at least the brother is treating her, her right, because, like, come on, man. Like, I know that was, like, um, some, like, even I'll admit that was a, a kind of a stupid thing to do, but even still, um, like, come on, like, that's your daughter, like, I feel like you at least need to try to move on. But, um, it, I guess it is a little hard to move on on something like that, but even still, like, come on, man. But anyway, I really love the uh, Wildcat suit, um, especially for her. Like, it fits really well, and I don't know what it is about the uh, detailing of the suit, but I don't want to say it scales, but there's, like, little detailing, like, all over the suit, and I, I don't know, something about it just looks really good, and in my opinion, it's way better than the uh, Stargirl suit. Don't get me wrong, I actually think the Stargirl suit looks pretty accurate to the comic, and is really uh, well done. Like, it definitely looks a really good suit, and it doesn't look cheap. Like, none of the suits look cheap. Uh, I mean, then again, we've only seen two suits so far, other than the other Justice Society members, and even um, in those short sequences, those suits still looked really good, really great. Um, but I'm really looking forward to um, the rest of the season. Um, but I thought it was really interesting um, seeing her uh, progress because I thought that they were gonna like slowly progress this, but then again, this is a 13 episode season. Um, and I was a little worried that they were going to rush the story because she is, looks like she she's down herself to become Wildcat. But now she's officially Wildcat at the end of the episode. Um, and they didn't rush it. Like, they got it done in one episode. But um, I like how, at the same time, it doesn't feel rushed. It's all done in one episode, but it doesn't feel rushed at all. Like, it's paced really well. I think they benefit from that. Um, for it being a streaming service, but even then, like, this episode didn't feel long, like, this was 42 minutes, I think, so, it's not as long as a typical, uh, um, TV show, uh, like, on the Arrowverse shows, or just uh, on network TV, because I think that's what they benefit from, but, uh, they have it around the same length, and yet, they, uh, they did, uh, a lot of I don't know what it is um, I'm trying to say, but I hope you get what I mean. Like, um, it was done in one episode, but at the same time, doesn't feel rushed or done too quickly. And I really like that about her character. Not, I mean, she's definitely likable. I think uh, she might even be my one of my favorite characters so far, definitely. Even if she, we haven't spent too much time with her. Um, and yeah. Now, I'm kind of a little concerned about next episode, because according to DC Universe, it's called... Um, hang on, let me um, go back on it to... 
look at the order. It is actually called Our Man and Dr. Midnight. So they're going to introduce two of those guys, um, or two of those characters in one episode. And I'm kind of concerned about that. They might rush it. Um, but uh, hopefully, um, but um, I'm not too concerned because for, uh, for what I've seen so far, they've done a great job. Like this is definitely way better written, paced. Just the overall production of the show is definitely better than a lot of shows I've seen. Not just superhero shows, but just TV shows in general. Um, and I'm very interested. I, I also thought it was kind of uh, uh, interesting that um, they actually played around with the saying uh, the. Uh, Dr. Midnight character, you know, that uh, girl, I actually don't remember her name, um, signing her up to, to learn that Yolanda is Wildcat um, very early on, and I thought, okay, that was actually kind of cool, and I'm very interested to see all these other characters. I'm mainly interested about the guy that's going to become Our Man, because he seems like a troll maker. I'm definitely getting a lot of um, Season 1 Roy Harper vibes from Arrow, you know how he was like a... He wasn't necessarily a thug, but he was like a... He was, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, he was... Technically, he was a street criminal, but he had his reasons. So I'm wondering if there's going to be something similar with that character. Because he definitely is reminding me a lot of Roy when we first met him on Arrow. So I'm wondering if they're going to play around with that. Because he definitely seems like he gets into a lot of trouble. So I'm wondering um, how they're going to uh, introduce... Not introduce him, but... Uh, um, make his character appeal to you know the current audience and make him interesting because they've done a great job of what they've done with icicle and wildcat and i can't wait to see how they're going to do that with the others also i want to know who that character is at the end because he looks familiar um i probably have seen him in like a cartoon or something like his character like you know the guy that was talking to icicle if someone can tell me who that character is in the comments because um i think i've recognized his design but i could be wrong uh, he definitely looks, he doesn't look human 100%. He kind of reminds me a bit of Killer Croc. Because uh, he looks like a lizard um, uh, underneath. So I'm really curious what that character is. Because his character design actually looks pretty interesting. And what he said at the, uh, at, the, at, at the beginning was very interesting. That he wanted the wizard's body. He also said something that I did uh, uh, catch, but I didn't say anything. Uh, was... Uh, he, He's been working on his daughter, not with on. So, I'm wondering if he's like that type of villain that like experiments on people or something. That's gonna be my personal theory, like a Aruchimaro type of character, where he's a villain that like either kidnaps people or just takes people and experiments on them. That's my personal theory right now. Cause uh, when we saw like his uh, uh part of his vest, it, it did have like blood stains on there, and they had a bunch of like um. Uh, what looked like uh, tools from the morgue, so I'm wondering. I'm very curious about his character because I'm interested. I'm interested to see all these other um, members of the Injustice Society that we haven't really seen a whole lot of, because the only members that have been really fleshed out were, like I said in the beginning, Icicle, the Wizard, and Brainwave. So I'm very curious to see all these other characters, uh, in particularly uh, Sportsmaster and um, Tigress, because I'm, because Armus Croc is in the show like um i was wondering that because i remember um the guy who's crusher i think it's pretty obvious that he's sportsmaster was talking about his daughter and i think it was episode two i believe um and that's definitely Artemis. so i'm wondering if they're gonna go the young justice route where they're gonna make her uh, set her up to become a hero either at the end of the this first season or they're gonna set that up next season or is she gonna become a villain because i think in the comics i could be wrong about this i could be completely wrong but i think in the comics Armus is Tigress in the comics, and that she's a villain. I could be wrong. Like I could be completely wrong. So someone please correct me in the comments uh, below, because you know I don't know everything. But um, yeah, this was a really great episode, and um, I can't wait to see more Star Girl. This is definitely one of my definitely one of my t uh, favorite um superhero shows for what I've seen so far. We're not even halfway through the season, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna end right here. Uh, which guys? Uh, what did you guys think of the episode? Comment section below. Tell me all your guys' theories in the comments. I like to get that discussion rolling. What was your favorite part? And also, feel free to correct me on certain things that I uh, didn't get. Please. Uh, I really like that. Um, also, before I end this video, I have a couple of announcements. I am finally uh, completing my Patreon. Um, right now, I'm co currently trying to put all my Insta Show reactions um, on there. Um, 
both um, a newer version of the cut-up version for Patreon, um, where I did cut out a few things, and also for uncut stuff as well. And I'm also going to try and go through some older uh, video files that I do still have, because some of the other reactions that I've done in the past, I have had to delete those files just because it was a, it was taking up a lot of space on my um, computer. Because I only have like a 2 terabyte hard drive, and half of that is with games, and the other half is with the stuff I do, like... Um, all my editing programs and all that so um i'm got my current plan is to get an a external hard drive and that way it's gonna be a lot easier for me to do a lot of my video stuff so yeah i'll be patient with that i should have a decent amount of content put on patreon in a couple days and i'll officially make a video on my patreon because i i do plan on um putting into a patreon because i i kind of need that especially because i'm um, cause I'm a high school senior and I'm about, I'm actually graduating in August cause you know, the current world that we're, uh, we're dealing with right now and I'm going to be starting college soon and I really, um, do need, um, the money, um, from there. So I'll, I'll keep updating you guys on the Patreon stuff. And also I'm going to be adjusting my video schedule. So I'll make a video possibly tomorrow or I'll probably put that on Wednesday. Uh, with my Agents of Show reaction, telling you guys about me adjusting the uh, the schedule a bit, but um, yeah, I'm going to be ending it right here, guys. Um, uh, hope you guys uh, do enjoy the, uh, the following content I will be putting on the channel, and yeah. Also, don't worry, guys, for Patreon, it's not just going to be stuff on YouTube. There's definitely going to be stuff that I will be adding to Patreon only, so, so that you know you'll get the money that you're paying to want for my Patreon will be worth it. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any future content. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram. All that good stuff. Um, and, yeah. So, I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Stay safe out there, guys. It's been a crazy few months. Uh, and, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later.